right, so uh, we got Ross. And, I get ass and, the and, and uh, today we're doing something we've uh, never done before, so it's going to be a how to slash learn how to do it with us video. Because today we are leak down testing the Honda to find out why it's such a fucking piece of shit, and I probably shouldn't have bought it. You should have bought it. I mean, you did. Dude, buy let's it. just go ahead and pull the head off right now, dude. We just snip the timing belt, and then we just. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we really could just take the head out, but it's. Yeah, I know. We bought a tool. We but we bought a leak down tester. We so bought a leak down tester. Now we gotta fucking we do it. We need like a dowel or something because if you put it in there, then you can watch it move, and when it's at top dead center, it'll be highest, right? Well, well, valves be closed. It won't be top dead center, but it'll be closed for that or, cylinder. Yeah. I bought a squeegee so we could, oh. Oh, no. so we could squeege all this shit. So There's definitely a heater in this garage. I feel like which is one. nice, by the way. Yeah, it's oh. Good thing we got a squeegee. Weeger. All right, um, so Ross got the plug out, and um, that, uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, Weeger. Okay. All right, we should probably go get your air compressor column binder. What is this? Ross put the thing in the hole, and he's about that life. Whoops. <laughs> I'm no clickbait bitch. Yo, we're almost to 100 subscribers. Almost 200. Kind of Dude, what are you giving away? I, I said on one of my videos. Yeah, but tell us now. Okay, I'm giving away one of three items. An exhaust, an oil cooler, or a catch can. But exhaust does not imply an entire exhaust. It implies that he has a muffler. It's a muffler. That he's giving away. Is it a sport JDM muffler? It's a sport JDM racing 100 horsepower adding muffler. Wow. Yeah. Alright, well go to Jake's channel if you want to win that 100 horsepower adding muffler. Guaranteed or he'll uh, give you $1,000. Oh yeah. Wait, you have $1,000 to give away? Dude, fuck yeah, I want that muffler. Alright, so, a leak down tester, you pump air into your cylinder, and uh, you listen for where the air is coming out. So you take out your oil dipstick and Not leave the matters. tube open. Yeah. And uh, take the radiator cap off, which I assume you're supposed to drain the coolant, but we have coolant in there. So if, uh, if it's the head gasket, there's going to be a nice geyser of coolant coming our way. That'll be fine. Then we send Jake to the back of the car to listen out the exhaust. <laughs> so go. Open the garage, though? No, just go, out, go back there. And then... Uh, the intake cone filter is another place to listen for. It's really nice if you have a cone filter, actually, because a stock intake box, you won't be able to hear it as well. But wherever the air comes from is your problem area. So obviously the intake, it's your intake valve. Exhaust, it's your exhaust valve. Fucking hard concept. I know, keep up. Kick the radiator cap off. If the air's coming out of that, you got a bad head gasket. If it's coming out of the dipstick tube, you got bad rings. You know what? Just in case my theory is correct. Pull it out of the second cylinder. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. the other thing too. Is like um, Ross and I were suspecting that it's cracked between the two cylinders. So if it's like that, then you will hear the air exiting out the cylinder next to it because uh, there was no compression in cylinder number four. Sorry, we called it cylinder number one in the last video. Steve is cylinder number one around that side. Listen now for the sound that forever will change the future. Put your hand over there, huh? Whoa! Sounds like uh... Jake, is there anything coming out of the exhaust? Nope. Feel over the radiator cap? Nah, I think you fucking called it, buddy. I think you right. What am I listening for? Just hissing noise? Air coming out. It definitely... Hear the difference? Alright, so uh, pretty much everything's telling us it's that the head gasket is cracked between cylinders one and two. That's what the leak down showing anyway, and uh, now there's no way to know beyond that other than taking the head off. So uh, let me get vlog mode going real quick. 
So, uh, I have a question for you guys. And, um, you guys already know which one I'm gonna wanna do because I love my rabbit. But, uh, after that bad bitch over there is out of the garage, I need to know what you guys would prefer to see us fix first the rabbit or the Honda? Um, probably, honestly, with the Honda, I'll buy a new head gasket. I mean, we'll check the specs on the head in the block, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm pretty much going to be like every other Honda fucking just throw a new head gasket in it and go, because that's what they do. Yeah. That's how it works. It's a Honda. It'll fucking run for a good amount of time on that. But, uh, so I'm going to leave a poll. Make sure you check out the eye in the top right corner of the video. Um, vote which one you want to see fixed first, the Rabbit or the Honda. And, um... We're gonna put this bad bitch back together and move it back out into the driveway, but uh, should we show them what's going on over there? Oh, yeah, yeah. Press again. All right, so. She roars, she runs, but uh, fuel map, I believe, is, uh, hopefully that's what it is, the fuel map's just letting it get a little bit too much gas, because you hit the throttle and it cuts it out, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure the map just needs adjusted, and then we gotta sync the timing, but after that, we can drive it. Someone on Turbo Bricks told me that the tax driven directly off the coil, so I don't need the ECU plugged in to read it. The lie detector determined that was a fucking lie because we ran it earlier and my tack wasn't doing shit. We could just pull the single wire off the tack and just run it right to your coil. Yeah, yeah. We just need to check my wiring diagram and see what wire it is and fucking source it. Or I could just buy an aftermarket tack. Or I could just fucking get a micro USB cable and get like a fucking $80 Amazon Fire tablet and run Tuner Studio and just fucking stick that <laughs> shit on my dashboard. It shows temperature, which I also don't have because my temp gauge is no longer connected. And I was planning on putting one because uh, I got this fuckboy pillar pod in the back here. I was thinking about getting a temp gauge and using one of the Mega Square outputs to have an external temp gauge and put it in the pillar pod with the wideband gauge and my boost gauge. But I think, um, honestly, if I can just put a tablet in this bitch somewhere and get a cheap one and just run that shit on Tuner Studio and have a fancy little electronic dash, that'd be dope. Because the only thing that Tuner Studio is not gonna have is a speedometer and the speedometer's right off the diff in this car. Maybe, or transmission, but either way, we haven't modified those, so. My speedo should be Gucci. So yeah, if you, if you suspect you have a blown head gasket or bad rings or something, definitely pick up a leak down tester over at Harbor Freight, because how much was this one? Like 38 bucks? Yeah. Also, people who shop at Harbor Freight, if you ever pay full price, ever, you're fucking it up, because there is always a 20% off coupon. Now there's some exclusions like jacks and lifts and shit like that, but, Stuff like this. That if it's on sale all the time, it, though. Like, yeah. You get their coupons, and fuck, dude, it's always on sale. If it's not excluded from the 20%, though, and you're not using the coupon, you're fucking yourself over. So, definitely check out getting the leak down tester and make sure you buy it with a coupon because it's less than $40. Yeah. And it's worth it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Let's put this bitch back together. All right, so we got the uh, valve cover back on. About to. Pop the spark plug back in and uh, well, spark plugs. Oh, wow, Ross is on top of this shit. All right, so pop the spark plug wires back into it and get it back out into the driveway. You guys ready to hear two cylinders of Honda Fury? <laughs> I guess I never really told people how much I paid for it. So those curious still, uh, 350 bucks. All right, 
it. So I'm gonna squeegee all this water out of here, but you know what's fucking hilarious, Ross, is uh, to give you an idea of how shit the last Accord I had was, that thing running on two cylinders is faster than the automatic one ever could hope to be. Like, it's hilarious. I was driving it home, I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll get on it. Who gives a shit about a misfire? It's probably just a fucking spark plug. Oh, no. <laughs> but, uh, so I just fucking romped it through first and second, and I was like, wow, this thing's fucking way faster than my last one. I can't wait to have it run on four cylinders. It's gonna feel like a goddamn rocket. Let's squeege. Ross has never used a floor squeegee before, and I just bought this, and he was pretty excited about it. You guys will not believe how pumped Ross is about how well the squeegee works. Oh yeah. You can go buy one right now. Yeah, on your way home, just probably. swing over to Lowe's. There's someone out there, I'll pack my bags to Rio. She's a dancer, but I'm a drummer. I'm lost in this world, but I found myself in Rio. On a blanket across the ocean. I think that's about it. That's gonna be the end of this video. Leak down test complete. Don't forget to vote for uh, which one will prevail first, the Rabbit or the Honda. And uh, don't forget to check out. And don't forget to hit subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to see what's going on with the Honda, what's going on with the Volvo, the Rabbit, the other Volvo, the other Volvo, or the other Volvo. And uh, give us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I said let's try and hit 400 last time, and it happened really quick. So let's be optimistic. 300. Um, but no, you said 300 last time. Oh, did I? Well, well I hit 400. Oh. That's why I was all pumped. So let's do 600. Let's be unrealistic with it. And I'm just going to keep the camera Wait, right here. 600? 600 likes, dude. We got oh, this. Crap. 600 fucking likes. It's doable. Okay. So I'm just going to leave the camera right here and still flail my arm like I do when I talk, but it's just going to be on Ross the whole time. <laughs> so make sure you submit your entry for Car of the Video to Curse Forever Help at gmail.com. Check out CurseForever.com and buy some stickers to help support the channel. More Ross's Sexy Slaps will be available soon. There's Ross. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.